This next fight is going to be a light middleweight fight, which features a fellow by the name of Tony Ayala. Now, Ayala's a guy who has had a minimum amount of fights, too, but he's a guy I think you're going to like. He has been likened in some ways to the likes of Jake LaMotta, but they say Ayala has better instincts than does Jake LaMotta. It's going to be interesting to see, but this Tony Ayala at 18 was a guy who was born to be just what he is. This is the profile of a fighter. Tony Ayala was born on February 13, 1963, the third of four sons of Antonio and Pauline Ayala. At the age of five, Tony had had his first amateur fight. And now at 18, El Torito, the baby bull, is a highly touted junior middleweight contender who still reflects on how it all began. I saw my two older brothers fight once in a small town in Texas. And right there and then I decided I wanted to put on gloves. When he was born, he was big, barrel-chested, you know, strong. And uh, I uh, picked the name of Torito because the way he used to strut around as a youngster, as a young bull, you know, a young Torito. Ayala compiled 140 wins as an amateur, but his heart and his aspirations forced him to turn pro. <laughs> I think he must have been a pro right from the first day he laced the pair of gloves on. Uh, he's got all the attributes to be a champion. Uh, he knows what he wants. He knows what he, uh, he, he knows how to move. Uh, I've never seen, I've never seen such professional talent uh, come out of a youngster, you know, 17, just turning 18, as a Tony Ayala. That talent was never more evident than in his last professional fight. The baby bull knocked out Jose Baltazar in just two rounds. By September of this year, Tony Ayala expects to be ready for Maurice Hope, Ayub Kaluli, or who knows? Maybe Kaluli's next opponent, Sugar Ray Leonard. The thing that he's looking for, that I'm looking for, is for him to, to enjoy the fruits of uh, his labor. It's something to be very proud of. The world crown in the family, it's, it's something that's uh, a manager's and a trainer's dream, to be honest with you. He keeps me going. He uh, puts that drive in me. A lot of times I might want to slow down, you know, stop training, so, but now he puts that drive in me, and I, I don't think I would make it without my dad. Well, he's just uh, done just fine with his dad so far. Eight, no, seven knockouts. Fight number nine upcoming. Let's go to the ring announcer for the participants. Next bout. The next bout of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is for eight rounds. Coming from Vineland, New Jersey, wearing the green trunks, white stripes, Weighing 156 and one quarter pounds, Mario Maldonado. Mario Maldonado. His opponent from San Antonio, Texas, wearing blue trunks with white stripes, weighing 154, three quarters, Tony Ayala. Tony Ayala. Eight rounds. So let's take a look at the tail of the tape in this one. Maldonado, 20 years old, gives away two years to Ayala, who is just 18 years old. A couple of young fighters. And Maldonado, really, is not exactly chopped liver. He's a guy knocked out Roger Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard's brother, the last time out. Pretty good fighter. We, was, we saw him, in fact, on HBO on the same card that Marvin Hagler fought for the last championship. <laughs> this well, is a guy I think is going to test Ayala. In that case, you kind of wonder whether by this guy being 18 years old, whether or not his father could be pushing him a little bit too fast. Well, and the other factor, too, he has had seven knockouts, none of which has gone more than two rounds. Well, I think that this is going to be more of a, a slugfest in the beginning, not of a, a more of a boxing, but a slugfest. Maldonado is good ranked. punches. Maldonado ranked number eight amongst the junior middleweights, and this will be the first ranked fighter that Tony Ayala has had a chance to get up against. So unquestionably, it will be Ayala's sternest test so far. Right hand by Maldonado grazes off the forehead, and another right hand jab lands on the forehead. There's a left hand by Ayala, pretty solid left hand, the cheek of Maldonado. Right hand to the stomach, another right hand back with the left. This is what I was saying. I told you this would be a slugfest. You we have two it. big, big punches in here. And Maldonado throwing a lot of leather right now at Tony Ayala, who comes up against the ropes. Left to the right hand, opens him up again. And Maldonado is not letting his man off the ropes. 
Nice body shot that Tony Ayello threw right there against the rope. I believe he knows that he has to move off the rope against this guy because he's a good puncher. Maldonado stung Ayala, Ayala is down. Maldonado heads for to a corner, and Ayala on rubbery legs is up at the count of five. Maldonado with a very, very good right hand at Ayala, rubbery legs right from the outset. This is what I was just saying, Barry, that he should have moved off the ropes. And Maldonado has him right back on the ropes, Mark. Combination punches again, and Ayala's going to have to get himself out of there. Two good punches to the face by Maldonado again. Upset of the making here in round one. What I love what Maldonado did right then was he doubled up with two left hooks. Two right hooks, excuse me. Well, let's see how much he slowed up Ayala. Ayala still with his back to the ropes. Maldonado measures him but misses a zinging right hand. Sometimes you can shake these uh, these punches right here and come out fighting again. Another good right hand by Maldonado as Ayala fights back and Maldonado hits him with another right. Just kind of measuring his back. Two good lefts by Ayala send Maldonado back to the ropes. And another left and a right by Ayala. Combinations is now it is Maldonado covering up. And another left hand, two left hands, Maldonado is in trouble against the ropes. 25 seconds to go in round one. All kinds of action here in Syracuse. And I tell you two what, combinations. this fight here will have the fans on their toes. This one is not going to go six rounds, I promise. Maldonado is now slowed down perceptibly. Now it is Ayala, who is the aggressor as we come to the end of round one. And you got to say, that was a round. That was a very good round. Now you wonder if uh, Mario Maldonado uh, threw all his punches right then. Whether he threw himself out. But that was an extraordinary exhibition by Ayala, an 18-year-old, to show that poise. Because for a, a few seconds there, you know that he was hearing the bells, and he pulled himself together. That's very, very unusual, and it speaks of his uh, tremendous poise and experience, even at this age. There he goes down. Watch, he will get up, uh, shake his head, and put a, pull himself together. And here he is, later in the round, starting to swarm all over Maldonado. Well, I believe that uh, he took him kind of lightly there in the first round. He went out. Sometimes, you know, you just have to feel a guy out in the first round. But uh, I think that he should have respected him a little bit more. Well, I guess he's, he knows he's a great prospect, but uh, he's got to prove it every time <laughs> out. Sab Tony Ayala. Sab Tony Ayala. Comes out there now. Interestingly, we talked about Maldonado having knocked out Roger Leonard. Tony Ayala also knocked out Roger Leonard. He did so at the age of 15. Again, a lot of offense right at the get-go here. It's going to be a real test for Maldonado, as Marvin Hagler mentioned, to see whether or not he used himself up in the first round. Ayala is now the stalker. Maldonado, the stalky. Right up over our microphones now, and Maldonado gets out of the situation against the ropes. Both men have been in trouble on the ropes. Tony Ayala seems like he's just taking his time, putting the pressure in, and he's throwing big bombs. He Here's wants to get him back. <laughs> Once again, a left hand scores. Maldonado goes rubbery for just a moment. Now tries to fight back, but misses two. And now gets out from the ropes. Ayala, good strong left hand. He used to talk about George Foreman having heavy hands. And Ayala seems to have that same asset. Maldonado really kind of aiming his punches right now as Ayala starts to take control here. I think Mario right now at this point is trying to let Tony Ayala punch himself out now. If this fight here goes the distance, I tell you, the last couple of rounds are going to be very exciting. They're going to be laying on each other. And again, a combination followed by a left hand by Ayala. Has Maldonado backing up two left hands right to the face of Maldonado and a right hand scores. And once more, Maldonado on rubbery legs as Ayala pressures him into the ropes. Scores with a left and a right and a left to the body. Move, 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 move. Hannah, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. 
Ayala now starting to get through the guard of Maldonado with some consistency. Tony Ayala has a beautiful left hand. Hard left to the body Hard brought Maldonado's hands down for just a moment. In fact, his hands are down, period. Head down, head down, Mark. Head down, Mark. Head down, Mark. Hold up top, Mark. Coming up on the 32nd mark, remaining in the second round here. A lot of punches have been thrown. Seems to me, Barry, right now, uh, Mario just stopped fighting. Well, he had his man in the first round. He put him down like a tree. And since then, it's been all the other way. Well, I don't think that he even expected that himself. <laughs> Surprised him. Yeah, but when a guy takes your best shot and he looks like he's going out and he comes back like this, it doesn't do you any good. And Maldonado, in all kinds of trouble, finally manages to get himself off the ropes. But he was hurt. There's no question about it. Ayala now with another left hand and a right. And back into the ropes goes Maldonado as we come to the end of round two, a round that was clearly Tony Ayala's. Is this too much of a fight for an 18-year-old? I tell you, well, uh, you know, guys like this, they start very young. So uh, he's like he's like an old pro right now at that age, I believe. Marvin, I have to ask you, Lou Duva, who is one of the handlers, one of the managers of Tony Ayala, said he didn't think there were five middleweights in the world right now who could handle his guy. Well, I tell you, he might be right here. The way this guy here, Tony Ayala, was throwing good shots, he looks very well taught. And uh, his corners, you know, is telling him the right punches to throw. Once more, Ayala taking the fight right to Maldonado. Interesting, for all those years, Marvin, that you really couldn't get fights, you couldn't get fights. All of a sudden now, the middleweight, middleweight division has a lot of very good young prospects. This is one of the reasons which I was saying there are good middleweights in my division, and I'm hoping that I can just bring the right money into my division. I would think things are really promising for you in the future for big money fights, really, because there's a lot of guys like this guy who's going to be up and coming, certainly, who are going to bring those big gates and with it bring the big purses. You're absolutely right. Aldenado's taking a terrible beating to the body. Larry, I can't understand why he's hanging on the ropes all night. He's just letting them punch him. And Ayala really has it all right now over Maldonado, who just can't even seem to get off the ropes. And it has been, as Larry Merchant mentioned, the punishment to the body that has really done the most damage. Well, one thing that I like about Tony Ayala, he uses two hands in there. And you learn that right from the beginning. And his punches, even though he's thrown a lot of them, still have some authority to them. Another good whistling left hand, two left hands, and a right to the body. A right to the head scores. I believe, I believe that that did take a lot out of Mario. That first round. Mario just doesn't look capable of even getting off the ropes right now. In fact, in his corner between the last two rounds, he was breathing very heavily, whistling right hand to the cheek of Mario Maldonado, and he's doing well just to stand there right now. Well, I do feel as though that uh, he's he can he's able to take a very good punch this Mario, because Ayala's caught him with some very good body shots and head shots. Always easy to underestimate how important body shots are. And you're getting a pretty good education in them right now. Hey, believe it. In those body shots, you cannot shake. You saw the mouthpiece of Maldonado go out. And with it, Maldonado go down. Talks to the official. And once again, Ayala throwing all kinds of punishment the way of Mario Maldonado. And once again, Maldonado goes down. And that is the end of it, and Ayala is the winner. And a convincing winner. At so Tony Ayala really with an impressive victory after being on the canvas in the first round. I, uh, I really don't believe that uh, Mario was really hurt. I just believe he was tired, and uh, he was just looking for a spot to quit. I think so, too. And he took an awful lot of punishment. And as you mentioned, most of the punishment coming to the body. So Those there will wear you down, the body shots. They will wear you down. Well, Maldonado had his shot at him. He had his man down for a count of five. And in fact, even after that, Ayala was a little rubber-legged. And Maldonado goes over and said, you have done it, my man. And he really did a good job on it. Take it away. We're going to have an opportunity in just a moment to speak with the winner, Tony Ayala, here. Larry Merchant has gone into the ring, and we'll be ready with that interview in just a moment.
Lou Duva, Tony Ayala standing right over our HBO microphones here in Syracuse. Malinato, a game fighter, had a lot of experience, has scored a couple of impressive victories himself, and in fact had his man down in the first round with some damaging punches of his own just a few moments ago. But after that knocked out, it was all Tony Ayala. Right now, let's go up to Larry Merchant, who is with Tony Ayala. Larry? Tony, in a, in a couple of words, what happened in the first round? Uh, I wasn't cold, you know, it wasn't going too hot for our club, you know. Uh, Ramos fought a hell of a fight, only he ran all night, and I was expecting this guy to go too, and I guess I wasn't warm enough. You, know, but I got you, look, you looked there for a moment like you just might not survive that. Did you think that? You looked into the corner and you said, I don't know what happened. No, that was it. You know, I said, hey, I got caught, you know, but it wasn't that I, when I was hurt that I wasn't going to be able to continue. I got enough smarts that I could get out of trouble, you know. Like I said before, if I get caught, you know. You never know when these things are going to happen. Lou, what does this kind of experience tell you about this young fighter? Well, it tells me right away he's going to be a great fighter. You got, a, a great fighters are made when they come off the floor. And until they're on that floor and get up off that floor and show what they're made of, they don't know you, you, you're taking a calculated risk. This kid got off the floor. He got caught cold. This kid's going to destined to be a champion. Well, there you saw it. Everybody gets knocked down. The question is, what do you do when you get up? And we saw what Tony Ayala did. Now back to ringside. Tony. So Tony Ayala is the winner. Let's take one more look at that final action here. That is Maldonado in the green trunks against the ropes, and he at this juncture had really absorbed a lot of punishment. As Marvin Hagler said, he was just looking for a place to fall, and there wasn't even a punch there, and he just said, that's it. Enough is enough. And the winner is Tony Ayala, a convincing victory to be sure. Let's now go up to the ring and ring announcer Dick Tobin. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes. 57 seconds of the third round, the winner by a knockout, Tony Ayala. Tony Ayala. Bill, you, Bill, you have it for 20 minutes now. You can do whatever you want. So there you heard the decision on that fight. Tony Ayala. I guess you'd have to say an easy winner, although it did look so for a moment in the first round there. Well, I, I really couldn't understand uh, why Mario decided to quit like that. He's a great fighter, you know, and uh, a big win like this here over Tony Ayala would have also put him in maybe for a possibility shot for the junior middleweight title. Yeah, he's a guy, as we said, has had, I think, 18 fights, 19 fights. He was 11-7-1 coming into this fight, had six knockouts, did a number on Roger Leonard. Not a bad fighter at all. I'm a believer. I know one thing, I don't know how far he's going to go, whether when he gets in with the quality of fighter of Marvin Hagler, whether he's going to be able to get up, or when he gets up, whether he's going to be able to survive the next minute and a half. But I do know that this kid will make a lot of money before he hangs his gloves up. Oh, believe it. Because he's an exciting fighter, and people will want to see him fight. Crowd pleaser, I don't think there's any question about it. You know, we've mentioned time and again that despite the welterweight championship fight, we've had an opportunity to see a lot of, quote, future champions tonight. One of those was Davey Moore. Let's go back to a fight that he had.